What's up everyone? We're back here at the shop for another video. Um, today we are going to dive into the engine bay. Um, off camera I went through and finished all the sanding on this quarter. Um, I got to go back through a little bit. There's some some pinholes and, and stuff like that but I mean all together it's not horrible. I'm not a body guy and I'm not trying to make it perfect. So it is what it is. I'm happy with it. It'll look fine. I mean, it'll be a little wavy, but whatever. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with paint color yet. So I'm not gonna paint the car um, until I get it running and driving because we actually have a drift event uh, May 8th that we're going to. So it's time to bite the bullet and get this thing going. So today, I want to pull the ABS module out and then <clears throat> just kind of clean this up and get it prepped for and get it prepped for the engine. Um, I got a lot of parts that just came in. I'm still waiting on a few things. Um, so we're just going to do as much as we can. Um, so first step, um, we got to get the wheels off so we can get to the lines inside of the wheel wells so we're gonna jack this thing up put it on jack stands and uh pop the wheels off pull this line off from the caliper line um because those go to the abs module uh we gotta pull the lines off of the master gotta pull the lines off the master um yeah so basically all of these hard lines are gonna be bye bye Put it in the air cut the wheels off next step you want to do is pull the brake fluid out of the master so i got a vacuum bleeder and I'm just going to use this to suck the fluid out into this reservoir. Just helps with uh, not making a mess anyway. All right, so there's this screen that uh, sits right in here. And um, I just turned it with my fingers and it popped up and you can pull it out just like that. Um, got the fluid out of the reservoir. Going to pull the lines off the master and pull the bolts out of this ABS unit. So your master cylinder is labeled. Um, the front is the rear and the back is the front, which is kind of stupid, but that's just the way Nissan did it. Um, so you got this bolt down here, this one right here, and then there's two up in the wheel well that uh and then you can take these connectors take these connectors off and pull this whole thing out um you do have the rear junction uh right there that block so we're gonna pull a line off there pull a line off both calipers pull a line off the masters take the bolts of the abs bracket and pull it all out as one Take two. We got this one off in the caliper so we can just pull that through save this uh rubber put it on the new line and then the same on that one just pull that out of the tunnel and then i gotta get that that one what should i do take this one off
at all that room for activity. Wow. All right, I'm gonna clean up the bay a little bit where the module and all that stuff was. And then um, I'll show you the kit that I got to uh, make all this work. All right, so <clears throat> I went with the uh, GK Tech, actually makes an ABS delete kit or every, with everything that you need uh, to do it. So um, this is what we got here. Uh, they also have a really detailed video um, on how to do it. So if you're looking for more detail, go check their YouTube page out. They got a bunch of install videos of everything that they have, but um, it's really nice. We got a T to convert all the lines that would go to the ABS, some banjo bolts, um, everything's labeled. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, we're going to throw that in. We got all the lines in. Um, this is how it turned out. I actually just used the factory holes that were in the firewall here, um, routed it all like this. There was one back here, I put one in, um, put right here. The kit came with these plastic P-clips. Um, so I just, used, I just uh, used the drill bit to ream them out a little bit to get the 10 millimeter bolts through. And uh, came out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna put one right here on this bracket. On this bracket right here to hold this one away from the booster. I got to tighten down these yet, um, but everything is pretty much clear. It's not gonna rub. Um, I don't want any of the lines to be rubbing anything, so we have no issues and no uh, potential breaks in the line later down the line. everything all tightened up um, after you're done installing all the lines and just go back through and make sure that you uh, tightened everything just do it double check uh, it'll save you in the long run um, you know it's just one of those things when you go to bleed the brakes you already know everything's tight and you're not gonna have any leaks um, so this is how it came out I mounted the T block right here um, and then that line goes into that side Got them coming off the master, coming over, down, and then uh, into the junction block for the rear brakes, and then this one goes right to that caliper. Uh, I plan on doing the same thing with this clutch line, um, running it across here and then down, but I wanna wait before I do that. Um, I wanna have the trans in to make sure that it will be uh, long enough to go up across the top or if I have to go, you know, down the side or, you know, down lower to make it to the slave. Um, so, you know, pretty easy. It's just taking stuff off and putting new stuff on. Having a kit really, really helps. Um, but that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully we get the rest of the parts for the engine and we can throw that in. So peace out. See you in the next one. So I close the engine, locked away inside my mind.